Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome to the PS4 League match between Bustergate and Danny Jacobs. So, this is a bit of a clash of the titans here. Two of the biggest men in uh, precision right now going at it against each other. And this should be an interesting match. Last week, Bustergate won his qualifying match to get into the finals of the Undisputed Championship Tournament. Meaning that next week he will go one-on-one. -on -one against Alexander for that Undisputed Championship at the very first pit of United of Champions. So, can he pick up the gold? It has been... Actually, you know what? Buster Gates has never won a championship, ever. Is next week finally time that he does so? This week, he said that um, if he wins, he would be done. That he would leave Precision because he is sick. He is sick and tired of being the best. He is sick of the competition. He's sick of the company. And that he is sick of wrestling. So what he's going to do is. He's going to win the championship. As proof that he is the best. And that he has the recognition that he deserves. By being the, the champion. And then after he wins the belt. He is going to walk out and leave the company. So. It'll be interesting to see how that actually plays out. But right now, though, Buster Gates is taking on Dan Jacobs in one-on-one -on -one competition. Danny Jacobs is a former champion in TWF, uh, the final champion in TWF, and uh, Buster Gates was scheduled to actually face him in a few weeks' time at the next pay-per-view before TWF closed. But Precision began, champions were reset, and here we are. The matchup that would have happened. So, can Buster pick up the win over a former champion, pretty much? That is the question. And backslide driver by Danny Jacobs. What is this? Hold on just a second. Buster not happy with that one. That is Buster Gates' signature move and Danny Jacobs hitting it out of nowhere. Buster not happy with that at all. Trying to get some punches in. Cannot do so. Danny Jacobs, neck breaker taking Buster down. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. And what? What is this? 
What is this? Stun and Moonsault connect. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. This is, um, this is interesting. Interesting uh, moveset that Danny Jacobs has. It's not your usual big man moveset, as you can probably tell by now. Buster, though, boom, bringing him down, backbreaker. And this is one of very, very few times that Buster Gates is coming up against a bigger man. It doesn't happen often, but this is one of those very rare occasions where it has happened. Um, Danny Jacobs seems to be maybe an inch or two taller than Buster Gates. More muscular, as you can see. Just a bigger man generally, but can Buster get the job done? Buster is used to being able to muscle out people, whereas in this situation, two of the biggest men Definitely the two biggest men on the roster going at it here. It's just strange to see Buster being uh, out-muscled for a change. As he gets sent to the outside of the ring. What is going on here? No, he's getting thrown back on the inside of the ring. Greatest of ease. Danny Jacobs, all the strength in the world, taking Buster Gates down. Boom, shooting him with that gun there. Running at him. Buster dodging the dropkick. Can he follow it up? What's he going to do here? He really needs to get back into this because Danny Jacobs has been all over him right now. Going for a bear hug. What the hell? Is Buster trying to make him tap? He drops him though. Because, of course, Danny Jacobs is a heavy man. And uh, Buster kind of told him in the air for that long. But he does manage to launch him all the way across the ring. It was time to launch. Buster showing off his strength right there. Making sure people know about it. As uh, he tries to get back in into this matchup now. As he needs to do some damage to Danny Jacobs if he wants any sort of chance in winning. There's a shoulder tackle to the midsection. And it looks like he's going for it. Buster on a time. Connect. Down goes Danny Jacobs getting launched all the way across the ring. Buster is feeling it right now. He is in control of this matchup as he hasn't been up until this point so far. But Danny Jacobs finally uh, trying to fight out of it. Missing there with a clothesline off the apron. Buster running at him, missing with the clothesline himself there. And Danny Jacobs now, no! Reversal, neckbreaker gets taken down by Buster Gates yet again. Buster trying to stay in control and he is doing so. He's doing so. For the first part of this match it was all Danny Jacobs, but right now, Buster is the one in control. It's Danny missing with that um, cross body from the apron yet again. Rake to the eyes, Buster playing dirty now, and it looks like it's launch time yet again, and away he goes, all the way into the corner of the ring, Danny Jacobs down again, but he does manage to fight out with it, Buster down to one knee, getting back up, reversal, kick to the back of the leg, running at him, taking him down, sweeping the legs, running STO, taking Danny down, chopping in the midsection, Manages to grab him again now and got him up and down for a vicious spine buster. And just like that, the tide has turned Buster in complete control as he has been for the past few minutes. And a backslide driver off his own. Danny hit him with one earlier in the match. Buster returning the favor, taking him down. Just walking across the chest now, doing as much damage as he can. Buster must be feeling it right now. He must feel like he's in control. Because he is in control right now. Got him against the ropes. Trying to choke him out maybe. Ref, you've got to get him off him. You've got that five count. Buster throwing him back across the ring with the help of the ropes there. Danny not looking good though. As Buster goes after the legs. Trying to just smack the back of his head off the mat now. Trying to give him a concussion maybe. Who knows. Buster getting him back up to his feet. Grabbing him. No, there's the reversal. Danny trying to finally fight back into it. Missing with the grab there. Buster with the chop into the midsection again. Big boot. Taking him down. My god. It looks like since Buster has found his, uh, his, his role here, he knows what he's doing all of a sudden. Danny hasn't been able to do much. But as I, I spoke too soon, there's a reversal. Suplex. Giant suplex. Looked like Danny lifted him up with so much ease right there. Buster getting launched down on the mat hard. And with all that body weight getting slammed onto the mat, it's gonna hurt, and it's gonna hurt a lot. Stanley drives the knee into the side of Buster's head now. There's a stomp. Can he follow it up though? Can he get back into this one? 
That is the question. He's going to throw him outside the ring. And he does so. Buster is down. Danny going after him though. He's not letting him have some time out on the outside of the ring at all. He's going to go after him. Grabbing him now. No, Buster with the reversal. Slamming him into the, uh, into the barricade on the outside. What's he going for here? Simplex down onto the barricade. My god. His midsection right now. His stomach region is going to hurt. Buster feeling it again. He's picking him up. And he needs to get him back inside the ring. And that is exactly what he's doing right now. He's choking him out on the apron. Such a dirty player is Buster Gates. As he gets Danny Jacobs back inside the ring again. Can he follow up? He just needs to end it now. But there's a giant knee to the side of the face. Danny finally trying to fight back into it. It looks like he's got Buster up for a, for a suplex here. Nope. Reversal. Buster Gates the strength taking him down. Again, just trying to stay in this one. What can he do though to finish the match? That is the question. Oh my god, a headbutt. That could be enough. There's a kick by Danny Jacobs though. Both men going for overcoats there. Danny quickest to the punch. But Buster picking him up. And he's going to throw him right behind him. Over his shoulder. Down he goes. Danny needs a retreat to the outside. He needs a slight breather right now. Buster not letting him have it though. Taking him down, going after him. He's staying on the assault. Buster needs this win. He needs a big win going into the pay-per-view match and picking off Danny Jacobs like this. This could do the job. Danny, though, trying to fight back, but Buster has him scouted. Getting back inside the ring now. Both men inside the ring. Buster grabbing him by the legs. And he's just working away at body parts. Just working him down. And... Uh, you know, Buster, you've got to think that uh, he's going to want to end it soon enough. He's done a lot of damage to Danny's midsection and head as he drives the back in his knee again. Um, so you've got to think, Buster must be thinking there isn't much left he has to do before he hits the win. Maybe a ravishing neck breaker, maybe a, a lift up power bomb, who knows. But one big move could be enough to put Danny away. And Danny tries to fight back into it again. And again driving him down into the knee. Danny having no luck right now. None whatsoever. It looks like he just hasn't been able to get the momentum back that he had at the very beginning of the matchup. But what is he doing here? Buster managing to hang on to the top rope there. Danny Jacobs with a spear through the middle ropes and Buster Gates is down. Danny down with him. Buster could be out of it. Buster could be out of it right there. My God, Danny Jacobs risking his life on the line. Throwing him into the side of the apron now. And uh, Danny Jacobs, as I was saying, lost that momentum. He has found it right here. Throwing Buster Gates into the steel steps. He's getting back in the ring. And I, if I was Danny, I would be happy with a count-out victory right now. And that looks to be exactly what he's doing. He's trying to get the ref to count. Buster getting back up to his feet. He manages to do so. He jumps out of the ring. And he misses. He misses the big dive. Buster realizes this. Gets back inside the ring. And he's just selling him... What the hell was that? What is that? And uh, Buster very happy that Danny Jacobs just missed that move there. Because if he hit it, if he hit that move, that could have been game over for Buster Gates right there. Danny run at him though. And he stops short. Buster going to grab him. And going for a powerbomb maybe? He's got him up. And no, he goes down head first into that middle rope. My god. He could have just decapitated him right there. His head landed hard on that middle rope. That could have knocked him out. It didn't though. Danny staying in it. Picking him up now. And down he goes under the knees. Knees straight on the midsection. The chin region of Buster Gates. And uh, this is anyone's match right now. This could be anyone's match. Who is going to get the big move to end it though? That is the question. As Buster gets bounced off the ropes again. Danny catching him. Going for a second lung blower right there. Buster down again. And uh, Danny is feeling it. He's starting to get back inside this match now. Looks like he's going to go for another. Ah, what is this? Standard moonsault connects. Patented Danny Jacobs move right there. And now where's he going? 
He's going onto the apron. Looks like he could be trying to finish this now. Buster straight back up to his feet and a giant knockout punch. Danny Jacobs is down and Buster not going for the pin instead. Danny Jacobs quickly getting back up to his feet. Buster now. He grabs him. He turns him over. Going for that ravishing neck breaker. Trying to end the match. He hits it. Danny Jacobs is down. Buster could win the match right here. One, two, and three. Buster Gates picks up a huge win going in the Night of Champions.